Hi guys. I I'm Kayla. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. <laughs> currently on the toilet okay I am now off the toilet and I'm gonna grab something to drink so we can have a little heart to heart ah <sighs> back in my bedroom I have some sal salad and it looks delicious I have lettuce cucumbers tomatoes raspberries croutons and a red wine vinaigrette. How fancy of me. No, this is gonna be just a random vlog just talking about like First, um, let me start off with what just happened. My mom and her boyfriend are downstairs and they're so cute. And um, they're watching The Road. Originally a book by Cormac McCarthy is the one who wrote The Road and it's actually a very sad story. It's about like the apocalypse and um, a man and his son surviving among like zombies I think if I'm not mistaken um, and just making their way through like this whole new world. Uh, my cats are fighting, sorry. Um, but just how they're like managing their life. Hey! Hey! Did it! Bup, bup, bup. Hey! These two. I swear. But it's a sweet story and it's a really good read. I definitely recommend that to anyone who is into fiction and um, novels who likes to read The Road by what's his name? Cormac McCarthy. Definitely recommend. I had to read that for one of my literature um, classes in college and it was wow takes you on a full roller coaster ride <laughs> that's for sure but anyway I um <sighs> Well, okay, I will just come out and say it. I am here to talk about my boyfriend, Ike, um, because he is so special. I mean, like, come on, someone deserves a little recognition. Okay. Boys, be good, please. And um, so, Ike. Ike and I met on Facebook. He was in the hospital at the time. He has a lot of um, disabilities and issues and whatever. And he was in the hospital. He added me on Facebook and I accepted. I saw, <laughs> I saw his profile picture, saw that he had a beard. And I was like, mm, daddy, come my way. And um, not really, but we just started talking. And I got to learn a lot about him since he was in the hospital and I was working so much at the time. I had a lot of free time to just like and uh, we got to know each other really well. I felt comfortable enough to go to his house. That I would not recommend, especially on a first date, but I did. And, um, we hung out, we did not kiss, we hugged, maybe, and I just knew from talking to him for a couple hours that, like, okay, this is kind of someone I want in my life. And, uh, from there, like, we hung out, we just chill, and then on... January 1st we were hanging out and I think I was on the ground I think he kissed me from up above so it was like a spider-man kiss and I was like you know it'd be crazy 
if you were to be my boyfriend. And he was like, I think that's a great idea. So ever since we've been boyfriend, girlfriend, and um, it's been amazing. Ike, there is so much to say about Ike. So many good things. Ike is empathetic, compassionate, kind. The kindest person I've ever met in my life. Um, he loves animals. Uh, wow. Whew. There's just so much. I have, I obviously have past trauma from like drug use and um, overdoses and stuff like that. So a lot can trigger me. But he's always very understanding. Um, we were watching one thing about heroin, I think, which is which is a big trigger for me. Um, and he wanted to turn it off. And I said, why would you do that? And he said, well, I know it would trigger you. And I said, oh, baby, like, that's okay. Like, some stuff I can take. Um... Some stuff I cry about. Um, but he's always out there looking out for me. And <laughs> I don't know what he sees in me, but there's a whole lot of good in him. He's had a very spotty past with girlfriends. He's been with women, and they just, I think, from what I understand, from what he tells me, I think that they just completely took advantage of his very loving and compassionate heart and used it for their own gain, which is what's happened to me, like with Jake. Um, Jake totally took advantage of me and uh, of my feelings and my help. So, um, Ike is just so completely different. Like, when I'm with Ike, it's not all about him. He loves to make me happy. That, like, and, and I, I can see it in his face, like, the moment he sees that I'm happy, like, he will do whatever it takes to make me, like, oh my god, wow, okay. Um, so he's really great, and we met up with my dad and my dad's girlfriend the other day. He made a really good impression, and I'm so glad. Um... I'm a really lucky girl. You know, like, we can do things. Like, we can go on shopping sprees and whatever. Um, we can go shopping. We can go walk around. Um, but I feel most comfortable when I'm in his arms. And he's just cuddling me. And we're in bed and we're just talking about the, like, most random weird shit. And, like, hypotheticals. And our plan is to be engaged by July or August and then we want a fall wedding so I've just been kind of like perusing websites and looking at dresses that I might like and I think my bridesmaids dresses are going to be either a burnt orange or brown I haven't decided yet brown can be very pretty but it can also like be ugh. Um, so we have started discussing that and I just know every moment that I'm with him like, wow, yeah, this is, this is my person. Where have you been? I love him. I don't want to move to that. Um... So what we like to do with each other, it, oh, well, there is uh, something that we like to do, but other than that, 
we like to watch TV shows and movies together. He is a lover of musicals. I never would have guessed. He He's so... He, he wrote a song and showed it to me after 13 years of working on it. No words. It's beautiful. It is gorgeous. It's sad, but like so lovely. And um, he works on music all the time. And he's a guitar player. He plays the keyboards. He's such a good singer he would argue with me about that but he is a really good singer and so we love to sing together and um we love um oh man every movie we watch is pretty much like a good a good movie but um we love moulin rouge we love rent we love hair What other movies have they shown him? I don't remember now, but we did, today, just watch a movie called Devil. It's about, like, several people getting stuck in an elevator and, like, everybody's calling each other and, oh, it was stupid. I didn't like it, personally, but, um, go check it out if you want. It's called Devil. I don't remember when it was made. Don't remember who was in it, but it's about people being stuck in an elevator. Um, otherwise, about Ike, he adores my cats. And it's so special because, like, my cats are a part of me. Ever since I had them tossed into my lap, they've been my babies. And I take very good care of them. I love them with my entire heart. And it's cute because Miko's a little on the shy side, okay? Miko's just one of those shy guys, okay? And um, Coco, like, he'll come around. He'll say hi. Like, hello, what's up? Love you. But Coco is way more outgoing. And so when he first met Ike, it was love at first sight. No kidding. I will lay down on my bed in a certain position. Um, he's like half sitting up, half laying down. And then like his great big old beard. And then Coco will like come right up on his chest and just plop down. And then he'll kind of like nuzzle his face and like give him a nose boop. And it's so cute. I can't. I can't stand it, you guys. I can't stand it. I love it. But it's so sweet. Man! Man, I'm falling! I'm falling so hard. I'm just like... This is... And I hate to compare Jake to Ike because they're so... not alike in the least. Um, but... It's exciting because we're actually starting to get ideas for our wedding. That's a big fucking step. In the year, six months that I was engaged to Jake, we never spoke about our wedding once. I don't know why. I hate to say it, but at the back of my heart, I think we never talked about it because we both knew it wasn't going to happen. That sucks. But anyway, Ike. Ooh. Man. He is just so incredible. He makes me feel all these special types of things. He makes me feel loved. He makes me feel 
comfortable, which is very important. And he makes me feel secure. He makes me feel like he's never gonna leave me, which is scary because I know that's not the status quo these days, but I'm gonna believe him. I'm gonna believe him. He says it with such authenticity and just such genuine sense of emotion. I believe him. Maybe I'm stupid. Maybe I'm head over heels in love, whatever. But I really, I really believe him. Just like how I feel. Like, I feel the same. I think he's perfect. <laughs> so anyway. That, my friends, is what I wanted to make my video about. Um, so I'm gonna go eat and um, hang out with the cats and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Alright guys. Mwah. Bye. Oh, whoops. <laughs> whoops.